Hi guys, after the last Tesla coil video I left off with something that was uh, seemingly working well for the hardware behind it um, but still just loosely assembled as a mess on the table uh, so this video was about uh, cleaning that up and finishing it off properly and uh, making it fancy and nice So I've got another 150mm Taurus from High Voltage Shop on eBay You can see a sneaky arrangement to lead the wire up the centre of the tube and I've clear epoxied the coil these shapes might look out of context now, but uh, they were good enough to send to a plastics company and have laser cut in 10mm uh, grey tint acrylic. And the very next day, a box shows up at the door with the uh, fabricated shapes, um, which is two discs and then a base uh, for the coil assembly on its own. Uh, the rest of the hardware will have another base plate, which is slightly bigger again. Basically this on its own is a three tier structure that supports the coil and primary and is all bolted together with standoffs. This shot should show the tint. And here's the uh, e original standoffs I was going to use are the cheap eBay insulated ones with brass inserts but the acrylic came back so good that I thought I'd have a go at making uh, an acrylic standoff with 15 holes drilled in them, 4mm holes. Uh, for this copper. Uh, we've got 4mm copper tube here which is intended to be the primary. The copper came in a 10 metre pancake roll from RS Components in Australia. It costs about $52 for the 10 metres and that's uh, more than I need. Another neat box that arrived in the mail. Uh, if you're watching this video uh, well, no points for guessing who this is. Back to the secondary coil itself, the epoxy went really well. It's about three coats, a uh, pretty heavy coat at the end. Uh, for every coat I've got bubbles. Um, for the last one, the bubbles only really appeared at the bottom of the coil, which is the top of this structure because it's upside down. Um, and that's going to be covered with the primary, so I thought I'd leave it at that. The torus shape for the top load here is uh, fixed with a hex uh, threaded spacer, and I've just got a, an aluminium sleeve to make it round. Going back to the Slayer Exciter videos, I used this device to uh, modulate power to the uh, Slayer Exciter. It was actually the same coil, uh, so I was modulating uh, plasma at strobe and audio frequencies. Uh, this is actually the same secondary, uh, it was intentionally wound as a Tesla coil, but I connected it to this driver first. And I was strobing this neon as well, although you can't see it here. So this low powered driver is microprocessor controlled and offered a bunch of functionality. Uh, modulation frequency was an audio uh, sweep rate which could be adjusted for a constant sweep. Pulse mode is a visible strobe at a constant frequency and feedback mode just allowed the thing to know that it worked from feedback from the coil. I'm planning a similar thing with this uh, solid state DC relay which hasn't yet arrived from eBay. Uh, it might not do audio frequencies but I should be able to just cut power, chop up power with it. So I guess there's not much use for this.
So I'm still waiting on a few things. I'm going to try this Weld On 40 uh, to glue PVC to acrylic. Uh, hopefully that works. Have yet to order my spacers. Meanwhile, I've got spares of everything. They have arrived. Uh, the ZVS driver, uh, capacitors, and a spare identical flyback transformer from eBay. Uh, so if anything blows up, I'll be right. But it's funny, the wrong stuff has arrived. So I should be back when I have a nice, uh, at least freestanding coil and a mess on the table running the uh, pulse width modulation. Um, so hopefully this is a yucky picture of something like what it's like. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time.